So let's go over this. We have right here, if you look, all right, right here we have a runner running right now on crude. And uh, the first target I have right here was a 12 tick first target on this one. But, um, and we got a runner running. My second target is all the way up to 100 ticks. And then I got a trailing stop right now. If it, if it, if it retraces too much, it's going to stop me out on my second position. But why is this a long? Why, how can we capture this long for this nice runner that's running on crude? What you want to do is you want to stay on the side of the trend chart. We went over this a lot of how the trend chart has a trend filter built into this Rinko bar. And the beautiful thing about the trend chart, when it turns green, that means you have accumulation or you have more demand than supply. If it closes red, you have more supply than demand. So I got a trend filter built into these candles already. So it's very important when you see it turn green or red, it's the market's actually telling you something. So how can we take use that to our advantage? I have three moving averages on the trend filter. Now, moving averages are worthless by nature. We all know that for support and resistance. You just don't know which time frame it's going to stop on or which MA it's going to stop on. They're great for trend direction, though. I have a longer MA, which is the magenta or pink MA, intermediate, and then I have a small MA, the smallest one is that light dash white line. The best way to trade a momentum trade is this. That's a trade run right here at the 81 long. 81 fill long, got as high as 20, got as high as 400, 400 potential on this last run up per one contract risking $111, so or $110, sorry, so we risk $110 and it ran as high as $400 profit, just average per one contract potential there. So how can you take advantage of that? This I have two Fibonacci arrows over here, and there's two charts. I have a small time frame and a larger time frame. This time frame is what is used for retracement trading. That's when you get an opposite color candle that comes in the trend chart. Opposite color candle comes on the trend chart, and you try to catch the high. I'll go over that in a second. So that's called retracement trading. You use that chart for retracement trading. All right. So there's only two setups we need to know, retracement trading, momentum trading. That chart's going to catch retracement trading. What a retracement trading is this. A retracement trading is, if you look at my trend chart this morning since midnight, if I have a small, my small, smallest MA cross below my largest, I mean my intermediate MA, you're in a downtrend. So what you want to see when you see an opposite color candle that co comes in, opposite color candle that comes in right here, that prints against the trend filter trend, these two MAs in particular, you know you're in a retracement. You're looking for a deeper retracement. It's not a momentum trade, which I'll go over in a second, that we're in right now. That is a retracement trade, meaning you're looking for a deeper retracement and then a continuation of overall trend. So how can we use the Fibonacci arrows to fire in on a retracement trade? A retracement trade is an opposite color candle that comes in on the trend chart. It tells us the counter trend traders are coming in right here. So the counter trend traders are going to come in on these three candles and then it catches a high and it gets a resumption of trend. So what we want to try to do is we use this chart right next to it. We have the templates already set up in all markets. We use this template to find where the SIM dots are. The SIM dots are great targets for continuation trades. So if I come within a couple ticks of these SIM dots, red SIM dots, and I'm in a green candle up, meaning counter trend traders are pumping the market up, I want to look to pull myself in the market within a couple ticks of the SIM dots with negative market delta below. If you get an arrow that fires on these SIM dots, that's a very special situation because this arrow called the high of the move. It only printed one arrow. That arrow that printed is a sweet spot on a Fibonacci retracement. It's going to be anywhere between 50 to 76% retracement on the previous highs and lows. Usually it stops right around 62%. 
So that arrow fired right around that 62% level. Arrow fired. There's your entry for a retracement trade with negative market delta. All right, so that gave you a nice retracement trade right there. That's based upon this retracement setup that came on the trend chart. So that's a retracement setup. We had the same thing that happened on gold here this morning on two trades. We had a retracement trade this morning on gold and a momentum. So that's retracement. Retracement setup. The next setup we have is what's called a momentum setup, and that's the currently runner that I have running right now in crude. So how do you have a runner to run on, I mean, how do you enter a position like that on crude? Right here was the buy point on crude this morning on a momentum setup. Right here, this candle. Now you probably are asking, how can you take a long right here on this move up if your moving averages are crossed down? The reason being is you can do it if you start closing candles, if your candle is closing above your candle's closing above the small MA and it's all green, you're going to get momentum setups. So if you're all green and you're not closing red, then you can take this trade over here, which is a smaller time frame. The smaller time frame is called momentum trading. So a momentum setup. So I only use this small time frame now since I have two setups or momentum trading if my trend charts all green or all red. I never trade off this chart in a flat market if we're if we're sideways on the trend chart. I never trade off either one of these charts if you're sideways on arrows. Those Fibonacci arrows are really important if the market is trending up or down because they're going to catch the swings. So if you notice off my momentum chart since midnight, it's caught one, two, three highs and one, two, two lows. So if you look at this trade setup over here that happened this morning, it caught that short at 70 because the trend chart was what? The trend chart was moving down. It caught the setup to the upside because the trend chart was moving up. So the easy way to trade this is you got a momentum and a retracement setup. So that's a retracement setup and a momentum setup. The easy thing to remember is a retracement setup if you get an opposite color candle that comes against a trend filter. If it's a momentum setup, those don't retrace very much. You don't take a lot of heat on the trade. It really takes off. After you form a low, you can see those arrows, both arrows that formed here. If I take a look, once that arrow formed, that low held, it just took off. So that's a great spot to get along the market right there because your trend filters all green candles. Just like when it was red arrow to the downside, that was all red candles on the downside for a momentum setup. So when you're trading off this smaller time frame, you better be in check with your trend, trend filter. If you're in check with your trend filter, you got the market backing you because this is a large time frame. It's a large Renko bar. And I've got the trend filter built into these candles. So if it's all green, it's telling you they're trying to mark the market up. If it's all red, they're trying to mark the market down. So if I'm all green and I get a Fibonacci error retracement and positive market delta is following me, then I know that I should be getting into the market at that level. So that's the difference between these two Fibonacci um, charts. One is a momentum setup used for momentum setup. That's the three sim. That's the far right template that we have. And one is a retracement setup. Now the retracement setup, I like to use the sim dots after an opposite color candle comes against a trend filter. Where a momentum setup, I don't want any color change in the candle. I want it all green or all red. And I want to pop in with these Fib arrows. They're very, very accurate and very, very effective if you do it that way. Where you get in trouble with this far right chart, this momentum setup, is if you go against the trend filter. Meaning, if I get a Fibonacci arrow sell right now, somehow a sell comes up, and you're above 
this small MA, you better avoid it or you're going to probably get stopped out. So that's how you use the two charts. I use a retracement setup based upon the trend filter showing me an opposite color candle catching the rolling position counter to traders trying to catch the swing. It caught it beautifully at the high here. And then I also know that sometimes I won't get an opposite color candle that comes in when they're trying to mark it up or mark it down. So here they're marking the market up all morning and it's all green candles. So if I know that, then I'm only going to have a momentum setup. So I'm not really worried about the sim dots. Now what you can do is this. If I'm all green candles, I want the opposite side of symmetry to break. What does that mean? Well, in a retracement setup, you're going with the trend of the MAs. You, you want to come in a couple ticks of symmetry dots, get the Fibonacci arrow. You don't even need the Fibonacci arrow, just a negative market delta. You come with a couple ticks. I prefer the Fib arrow with a solid white bar. That's an indecision bar. Buyers are equal in the sellers. If I get that, I'm in a great position. So that one is easy.